Welcome to our tutorial on creating a basic agreement. In this video, you will learn how to create a basic agreement that consists of two scheduled maintenance visits and an automatic renewal invoice. The first thing we need to do is to find the customer that bought the agreement. There are two good ways to do this. The first is to go to our qualification screen by pressing F3 on your keyboard or clicking this icon. Once there, search for the customer by entering their name, last name first, and press Tab to recall them. As you can see, this customer does not currently have a service agreement with us. To set one up, go to the Activities button and select Create an Agreement. This will carry the customer over to the Entry screen and assign the agreement a number. Another way to do this would be to start on the Customer list. Simply click on the magnifying glass icon in the toolbar and make sure you have the Customer list selected. Then just type in a piece of the customer's information and press Tab. This can be anything from a phone number to an address or a name. Right-click the desired customer from the list of results and select Create an Agreement. This will start the agreement for us by carrying over the customer's name and location and assigning it a number. The next step is to assign the agreement a type. This is perfect if you offer different levels of agreements, such as gold, silver, and bronze, or multiple services such as plumbing and climate control. It allows you to easily see what the customer is entitled to when they call for service. If you only have one type of agreement at the moment, set this to BAS for Basic. You can always add more levels later on if you need them. Select the department that will appear on any invoices created by this agreement. Using a separate department for agreement invoices is a great idea that will let you see how profitable all your agreements are at any point in time. At this point, you can also assign a salesperson that will appear on the invoices generated by the agreement. This is ideal if you want to give them credit for reoccurring revenue. Leave the technician field as is. This will cause all dispatches created by the agreement to go to the service agreement column on the dispatch board. This is ideal because it makes them easier to schedule and doesn't confuse our technicians or dispatchers. If the customer really prefers a certain tech, be sure to watch the advanced agreement scheduling video for a perfect way to handle this. Generally speaking, we recommend leaving the contract period set to one year. This will ensure that the customer gets billed every year to renew their agreement. The only time we should change this field is if we really want to bill the customer every other year, every third year, and so on. Skip down to the original contract field and enter the date the agreement was sold. Tab out of that field and the expiration date will automatically be set to a year from that date. At this point, you can manually change it if you want to lock the renewal rate in for a longer period of time. Leave the remaining fields on the screen alone. They'll be updated automatically as you create renewal invoices, as a customer pays those invoices, and as we complete our scheduled maintenance visits. The next step in creating our agreement is to go to the Schedule tab. This tab allows us to set what we are going to do for the customer and when we are going to do it. Click the Add New Schedule Item button to get started. Now select a task that we will be performing. In this example, we'll select a Clean and Check. This is normally done twice a year in March and September, so set the reoccurrence pattern to monthly and select those months. Note that you will see the next scheduled service date listed here so that you can confirm it is correct and change it if necessary. Click OK when you're satisfied. Now switch over to the Equipment tab and place a check mark next to the items that are covered by the agreement. You can even add new equipment here if needed. The last step in creating a basic agreement is to set up an invoice for its renewal. So click on the Invoice tab and select the month you would like the invoice to be created. Notice as you do so that the Item field is automatically set to the SA code. This will allow you to simply enter a description and set a price without worrying about which parts or billing codes to select. Set Begin Invoicing on to the current date if you have not already created an invoice for the agreement this year. If you have already created the invoice, set this to the beginning of the next month so you don't bill the customer twice. Click Save when you're done and your agreement is finished. Now let's take a quick look at how this will appear the next time the customer calls in for service. To do this, go back to the Qualification screen. Since the customer we were working with is already displayed, just click the Refresh button. Notice that we can now see the customer has an agreement, what type of agreement it is, when it expires, and the next time we're scheduled to perform work for them. This concludes our tutorial on creating a basic agreement. Please be sure to watch the Posting Agreement Transactions video to learn how the agreement dispatches and invoices we just set up are created. If you deal with slightly more complex agreements, Check out the Advanced Agreement Scheduling and Advanced Agreement Invoicing videos for a more in-depth look at these processes.